How's it going everyone? My name is Jinjim and welcome back to some Forza Horizon 2. I almost said Forza Motorsport 6 for a second there. But today we are going to be doing a little bit of a budget drift build with the BMW M3 E30. This thing is so good. As I said in the stance BMW build, there's something about old BMWs that just look so nice. Especially with the M edition vinyl thing with the stripes and stuff. Yeah. Right, but today we're going to be getting $20,000 to upgrade this car and make it drift like mad. So, let's get started. I figured since Forza Horizon 3 is coming out soon, coming back to this game, it was a good idea. So let's let's try to do some skids here. Oh god. God damn it. Clutch kick. Come on. Yes. Uh, get the clutch. I need more power. Yeah, it's really, really weak. <laughs> Downshift to first, there we go. Oh, that was decent. Oh, that thing's bad. And clutch kick. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Little Fiesta guy. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by all these little cars. Why? All right, $20,000. Now, first thing, um, I'm gonna throw a nice little snail on here. Bring us from 215 horsepower to 262 horsepower. Not bad. I think that was a voice crack. All right, and then an exhaust. Camshaft. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that really kicked up the horsepower. Other thing I'm gonna do is upgrade the fuel system, and then I'll get the sport turbo. So that leaves us with $8,000 left, and we are making 402 horsepower, 303 pound-feet of torque. That's pretty good. Let's do some other upgrades that will help with tuning. So coils, not the Storm Island ones, those. Differential and transmission, so we can tune that. Now we've got $2,000 left. What do, what do? I'm gonna put on race brakes just because they look good. I mean, those red calipers really match the vinyl and the just, Oh, I love this car so much. Okay, yeah, we're putting those on there. Now, as always, wheels and customization options are free of charge, so I want to get some BBSs on here. Uh, I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. We'll find them. Really, the only BBS wheels are these ones right here. So, let's put them on there. They look good, and they're... Are they, were they any lighter? I think they were a little bit. But uh, yeah, those look cool. Now we've got some customization options. Uh, we got that front bumper and that front bumper. So this is like a cool little bumper with a lip. So let's put that on there. And wings, we got another little spoiler. We got a spoiler on top. We got a big Forza wing, which actually looks decent on this car. And no wing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one. I don't even know how to describe that, but I'm putting it on there. And that means the car is done. It looks so good. We are making 402 horsepower, 303 pound-feet of torque, and we weigh 2,711 pounds. With a weight distribution of 49.51, or 51.49, I guess. But uh, we got a 2.3 liter in here. Uh, pretty awesome. I really like that they actually say the displacement in this game. That's one thing I miss. I hope that will be in Forza Horizon 3. But uh, let's get to driving, boys. Oh wait, no, we gotta, we gotta tune it. Never mind. Never mind. Raise the rear tire pressure. Um, I'll leave the front tire pressure. I'm gonna put like 35 in the back. Uh, negative one in the back. Negative 1.5. Now let's do negative two in the front. Toe out in the front and high angle caster. I'm just gonna lower it all the way because I think that's cool. I'll stiffen the back springs just a little bit. And then I will also stiffen the back dampening just a little bit. And then I will lock the diff and that is it. We are all done. Let's go see how she feels. All right, here we are. Let's have a listen. Is it just me, or do the backfires sound better in Forza Horizon 2 than Forza 6? <laughs> All right, this car sounds awesome. Let's uh, let's do a little burnout out here, shall we? All right, hopefully there's no one behind. Nope. Nope. Keep it up. Yes. Yes. There we are. Oh God. Oh bump. Okay. Let's do some drifting, boys. Oh yeah, this feels good. <laughs> All right, much better uh, power-wise than what it was before. <laughs> Holy shit! Gearing is a little off on these corners, but ah, red line of 9k. That's impressive and fun. Like it never stops revving. I swear to God. 
Oh, boys. Oh, hey, look, that's another one. It's a brother. Okay, yeah, this car's feeling great, honestly. Oh, a little bit tail happy there. I want to get that corner down, so it looks like a fun corner, so let's try it again. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, there we go. That was pretty good. It was good enough. That's what I can say. Ooh, ooh, top drive car. Oh, top, top drive cars. Go, 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 go. All right. Lotus Spear. Yeah, this is not the uh, fastest fastest car. It's kind of a little drift car. Come back. Oh, cut in the corner. Oh yeah, that came in clutch, holy shit. Okay, we're in first now. Let's just not mess it up. Oh god. Oh god, don't drift. And across the line, woohoo! We won because we cheated, but that's okay. There we go. It does kind of want to straighten up in some corners. It's a little, little interesting, but there we go. That, that was good. This, this car is definitely better at tighter corners than it is at long, sweeping corners. Entry! Oh yeah, that was good. Oh yeah! <laughs> Managed to actually pull that off somehow. Oh god. And then, uh, it was just a wall tap, alright? Sign tap. That's what I like to say. Yeah, alright, that ending wasn't the greatest. <laughs> See, it was. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, maybe that will help because this car is slightly underpowered. I love just throwing it into some of these corners. That's just so fun. That's something you can't really do in. Six. <laughs> oh no, too much! No! Oh, psych, that's the wrong number. Oh, there we go. Could have used maybe a little bit more power there. But that's okay! Oh god, that's scary fast. Oh! <laughs> Uh, some high-speed drifting in this game is also incredibly fun. <laughs> oh yeah! Boom, that transition though. Alright, let's see how good it is at pole dancing. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yes. Oh god, nope, nope, lost it. All right. Ow! Damn it. There we go. Could have used a little bit more power on that corner, but that's okay. <laughs> that was okay. Wasn't the most stable, but that was pretty damn fun. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Come on, Viper, do some drifts. See, it's like, it's those corners that this car does not have quite enough power. Oh, that was a good one. And the sunset, and a Mustang crashed into me! Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh my god, exit ramps are fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh god. Oh god. Woohoo! I almost just died. That's the only purpose of underpasses, right there. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed. It's just a good car. I mean, yeah. Does anyone know where that's from, TJ? In all seriousness, this car is a very fun car to drive, and it was only 20 grand to build. Now, oh, or a uh, rally, rally car. I think I'll be doing more Forza Horizon 2 videos now that Forza Horizon 3 is just around the corner. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below, please. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. That really does help me out. Oh, slides, slides for days. Oh, boys. Ah. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. It's really awesome if you do that. It makes me happy. It makes you happy, maybe. Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't, but who knows? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I just failed that drift, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Back from the dead. I think I can launch a little bit harder. That might be too hard, but we'll see. And no, not at all. 9.6.